Splitter Critters is a brand new indie puzzle game on the Nintendo Switch. The game offers a unique mechanic where players can split the level and move its pieces in order to help the adorable critters find their way to the spaceship. The game was originally released on mobile platforms. The studio, RAC7, was kind enough to send us a copy of the game for review purposes. So, does Splitter Critters make the cut, or should you fly away? This is Push Dustin from Source Gaming bringing you this review. Since Splitter Critters is a puzzle game, there isn't much of a story. Players control an alien who is collecting the alien life form on the various planets. Let's go ahead and talk about the gameplay, as that's clearly the focus. Splitter Critters' unique mechanic of splitting the world is done beautifully. The first time I split the level, I was really impressed on how intuitive and immersive the mechanic is, and it remained an enjoyable gameplay mechanic throughout my time with the game. Each planet has a theme. One is focused on water levels, while another requires players to push buttons. Players can fast forward the action by pressing one of the shoulder buttons. Players can also cut using the touchscreen, though I personally prefer the button input. Splitten is the name of the game and is essential to completing the levels. The levels will need to be split in order to allow or prevent the critters from progressing forward. It's pretty satisfying to cut up the levels in order to line up the laser beams, or to stop the enemies from meeting your new friends. There isn't much in terms of tutorial or dialogue for the game, but this is what makes the game so great for me. Everything is left for the player to figure out, and the levels feel so carefully that it's not really a stressful experience. There are dozens of ways to solve each level. The player has three splits at a time, but the splits can be undone in order to gain them back. There are a total of 71 levels with 56 main levels and 15 bonus levels. After completing the main levels, the bonus levels on the moons will open up and can be tackled in any order. The game looks incredibly polished and is one of the best puzzle games I reviewed for the Switch. The unique mechanic is executed beautifully, and the levels are all designed very well. Splitter Curse has a philosophy of show, don't tell, which guides players along the correct path without excessive hand-holding. The music is quite atmospheric and helps provide a calm, relaxing experience. I really dig the style of the game. There are a lot of small details like how the main character looks at the critters whenever they're near him, and that really helps sell the world. The critters are all very adorable too. The sound design is great as none of the sounds get annoying, which is a problem I've had with some of the other puzzle games on the Switch. The UI is also very clean. The critters location are shown by small circles if they're off screen, which helps prevent players from getting lost in the bigger levels. I was really impressed by how the game handles transitions between the levels and by how minuscule the loading times were. Overall, the game has a very polished veneer to it, making it one of the best indie games I've reviewed so far, especially considering its origin being a mobile title. I only encountered one glitch in my playthrough, but it wasn't game-breaking. At one point, the top of the plane and the rest of the plane got separated, and it prevented for the critter from walking on it. Resetting the split actually fixed it, and there was no problem after that. All in all, Splitter Curves is a fantastic game that I would highly recommend for players looking for a new puzzle game, or for players who want to play a game that isn't so stressful. The game is quite immersive and has a lot of polish, providing a great experience overall. The game retails for $6.99 US dollars and is set to release on May 15th. I give Splitter Curves a 5 out of 5. Thank you guys so much for listening to this review. Let us know what you think about Splitter Curves in the comments below. Again, I would like to thank RAC7 for providing us a review copy. As always, check out the description to see all of our social media links. Make sure to smash that subscribe button and always return to the source. This is Push Dustin, signing out.